Okay guys, in this video I just wanted to let you know this is not the only Binair pedestal fan you can buy. You can buy a couple of different ones, but there's only there's only another one I'm going to be showing you in this video. This is not the only double bladed Binair pedestal fan to be made. They've actually made another one with double blades. It's not the same as this one, it's an older one. This is the newer version of it. The older version you cannot get it anymore. I wanted the older one, but I could I couldn't get the older one, so I ended up getting the new one. The logo is different as well. I'll show you in a second. No, the newer ones are just called Binair, and yeah, that's what the fan looks like. Very nice. It has the buttons here. It has it has the on off. It has the mode. Three speeds, timer, oscillation, remote control, and the double blade design, which is really cool. I love that double blade design. It has your logo here. I can't really get too close because my phone's on charge at the moment. But um, yeah. Um, very nice fan, and it has the older style grill, which is the more expensive grill. I'm going to show you full views. The full look of the fan, and I'll show you the one on my iPad that I'm using my phone at the moment. Here's the side look of the fan. Very nice. You can probably tell it's got some vents at the side as well as the back. It's got vents on both sides of this fan. I might have to move it out a bit. It has the newer tilt to adjust this fan. Here's the back. There's the motor housing. Yeah, it's got more more vents on both sides and at the back as well it has this very large oscillation button models BASF 1016 GRC 60 watts main channel 220 slash 240 volts power and here's the remote control it has all the buttons it has on off free speeds timeout mode i don't know what mode is really for oh yeah you can also put it onto here because if you're using the remote you can put that back but when you want the remote or if you're not using the remote you can put it out and there's like a hole at the top there it goes on like that now i'm just going to switch on my ipad a second because it's turned itself off now i'll show you the second version of it which is the older model Here's what the older model looks like. Um, let me just turn my version back to the front. I'll tilt it up. I'll bring it closer to you so I can sh show you some differences. I've done this before, but this is just a remake video again. Oh yeah, this fan's actually for sale on eBay right now. I mean, I would kind of like to buy this fan and compare it with the newer version. I don't know if I will be able to or not. It'll be cool if I could. So here's it close up. Yeah, as I told you, the new ones are just called Binair. With this one, this one's called Binair 2 Cool. That's what the older ones are called. I think they changed their brand name a little bit. They're just called Binair. As you can tell, this person that's saying it's got the logo sideways so um yeah i can do that binary two cool different they've got different color blades mine are like they're either black or dark gray the ones at the back are and there's five of them and there's like three light gray ones in the front the ones at the back of this one are more like the ones on the front of this one they have five gray blades at the back they're light gray it has three blue blades in the middle, which I prefer. I prefer the blue blades in the middle. I think the fan stands out more. As you can tell, the pole's different. It's got like this long pole going down. Oops, it's gone off. Almost. And then this one's got like that bit there. And it's got a bit here for the buttons. That one does not have that. Um, that's what the underneath bottom looks like. Oh yeah, this one has the older tilt to adjust it, by the way. Here's the back. 
it's got a different back design as you can tell to my one it has a normal oscillator and it. it has the three speed switch at the back it has a switch on this one yeah and it has a handle there which is different to my handle on this one let's show any other pictures oh yeah here's the front bit close up now i can properly show you that logo i like the logo on this one a lot better than I do on this one. This one's got a nice logo, but I think I prefer this one's logo. I like how they put binary to a corner and they put like an oval, a white oval bit around it. I think that really looks nice. It's got a similar bit in the middle to like on my Honeywell and also in my 2011 Argos Volume. It's got a similar bit in the middle to them. This one's different, as you can tell, it looks a bit different. Of course, it's still like black in the middle. The circle bit is just like it is on this one. But this one has the white over in the middle, which this one does not have, which is a real shame, because I really like the way this this version looks. In the future, I might see if I can get one. It'd be really cool to own this one. I would love to own one of these. If I owned one of these, definitely, there would definitely be a comparison of this version versus this version, definitely. So I'm kind of doing a bit of a comparison now, but I can't obviously do a proper comparison because I don't own this fan. Obviously I own this one, yeah, this is my fan, but I do not own this fan. How much is it? Yeah, that's 15 pound on eBay. Obviously it's in used condition, that's obvious. But sadly I will not be able to get this particular one because it's no delivery you have to get it in person so i won't be able to get this particular one maybe in the future i might find another one with delivery and i might get it delivered because i've heard this fan this fan does not have remote control like this one but i've heard it does other things which this one does not do yes this has the features of remote control timer and mode which with which this fan does not do but this fan has some features which this one does not have this one has two poles and you can actually remove one of the poles and make this fan into a desk fan. So this fan's actually a two-in-one desk and pedestal fan. So if I remove one of those poles, I can actually, for example, have it sitting on this desk here and have a massive 16-inch desk fan, which is pretty cool. Oh, no, yeah, with this one, it adjusts all the way down and it just up like that. This one, it adjusts all the way down. And then it also tilts 90 degrees upwards, like a Honeywell would. A Honeywell HD 900, for example. It will tilt all the way up to the ceiling, like one of them. I have seen one of these fans in real life, and that's how I know it does it, because it was way before I started YouTube, I saw one of these in real life. And yeah. It is tilted all the way up to the ceiling when I saw it, which is awesome. That is a pretty cool feature. That is pretty neat. Let me go back to the um, bottom of it. Hold on. I'm going to see if I can show the underneath of this one. Let me just get the fan. I'll put it down. Oh, this is quite a heavy fan, so it might take a while to... Move it up a bit. Whoa. I never show you this on pedestal fans. Here's the bottom of this one. Yeah, it's got a different bottom design as you can tell. Is it close up on this one? But yeah, it's a sort of a comparison. Sadly, it does not tell you the model number on this fan. I might see if I can search it up. Binary 2 cool fan. Maybe it will tell me the model. It's, um. Oh, Amazon. Does Amazon. They used to have it, but it's currently unavailable. Will you tell me the model number? Oh! Um. They're selling my version. There's my version, which is the one here. I put 
Yeah, so I can show you there underneath. But yeah, they've got my version. It's seven. It's seventy nine ninety nine. When I bought my one, I got mine for a cheaper price. I got mine for sixty four ninety nine, which is sixty five pound. So yeah, it's gone up in price. Oh, that's a nice one. I might get that fan at some point. Not one to tell me model number. But tell me. Oh yeah, it's model B A S F one zero one six G L U K. I don't believe that this is a grey fan. I think it looks more black to me. False advertising, but oh well. Yeah, this is definitely looks like more of a black fan to me. It's more of a MAC black. I think it's more of a MAC black colour. Yeah, it looks more MAC black. Or is it grey? The one I saw in real life was actually MAC black, which is different to, for example, the Honeywell. Honeywell is actually normal black. But this is actually MAC black, the one I saw in real life. I think they call it MAC black. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's gonna be it for this video. Oh, oh yeah, that has a ring around it, just like on this one does. But yeah. So which fan out of two do you think is better, guys? Could you let me know in the comments below which version you think is better out of the two? Would you rather have remote control, a timer, and a mode? And just a normal tilt with just a pedestal fan. Or would you rather have a fan that's non-remote control but it can tilt 90 degrees upwards and has it as a and have it as a desk fan? So which version would you guys rather have? I know which version I'd rather have. I'd rather have both. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather have both so I can do a proper comparison. But yeah that gonna be it for this video hope you enjoy thanks for watching and as always i'll see you in the next video um bye for now